Hi, in this video we'll look at the PID control features for automating a roast with a TC4. We'll look at four different options. The first option will be following a background roast profile using the built-in PID controller in Artisan. To use Artisan's PID controller we need to go to config, device and make sure we have the PID firmware option unticked and make sure you have the control option ticked. Open up the control dialog and set my source as bean temperature. This will use the bean temperature from the background raised profile as the input to the PID controller. The target is what the PID is controlling. So we'll set the positive control to the heater. Make sure you select background for the mode and you can use a look ahead if you wish in seconds. We'll untick the slider for the set value because we don't need that. And make sure you enable start pit on charge. To load the background profile we'll go up to the roast menu and then background and then click the load button and then select your background roast profile. There's lots of options here to change but we won't touch them, we'll just click OK and you can see the semi-transparent background rose profile. Click on to connect to your device and then start to start logging. When we click charge the PID will turn on and Artisan will read from the background profile and calculate new heater values each second to send to the TC4. To follow the profile more accurately you can adjust the PID parameters back on the control dialog. I'll just jump into the control dialog, click the off button to turn the pit off and then turn my heater off. OK, now we'll do another background follow, but using the TC4's PID controller. This time we'll make sure we have the PID firmware option ticked, and also the control option. I'll load the same background race profile. Control dialog, we want to set the input source for the PID controller, which I've set as channel 1, which is my bean temperature thermocouple. I'll activate the slider for the set variable and make sure I've got start pit on charge selected. Click on to connect to your device and then start to start logging. When we click charge the PID will turn on and Artisan will read from the background profile and send the set variable to the TC4. And the TC4's PID will calculate the required heater values. In this third example, we'll look at the ramp soak profiles and using the Artisan internal PID. Make sure the PID firmware option is off 
because we want to use the Artisan's internal PID. Now this time in the control dialog we want to change the mode to ramp soak. Jump over to the ramp soak tab and this is where you set up the ramp soak profile. In this example I've got the profile starting at 35 degrees Celsius and then ramping up to 100 degrees over 3 minutes. After clicking charge we can see Artisan automatically adjusting the heater. And the final example will be the same again but using the TC4's PID. Make sure PID firmware is enabled. When we click charge, the PID will turn on and Artisan will read the set variable from the ramp soak profile and send the set variable to the TC4. And the TC4 will calculate the required heater value to follow the ramp soak profile. Check out my Artisan and TC4 setup video if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, jump over to the homeroasters.org forum. And thanks for watching and happy roasting.